Hi guys, welcome back to your favorite channel, Rana's English Coffee. This is Mr. Rana. I welcome you to my new lesson, that's one, bilabial plosives. What do you mean by bilabial plosives? Bilabial plosives are consonants. So in this video, we will give importance to three important points. There, the definition of consonant, classification of consonants, and bilabial plosives. Let us discuss the definition and meaning of consonant. The word consonant comes from a Greek word consonantu, which means to depend. In other words, consonant is a speech sound that depends on other sound to be pronounced. For example, t. The sound t cannot be pronounced without the assistance of r. T, r. K. K cannot be pronounced without the assistance of the vowel r. Let us think the definition of consonant. Consonant is a basic speech sound in which the breath is at least partly obstructed and can be combined with a vowel to form a syllable. This definition says without a vowel it is not possible for us to produce a consonant sound. In my last video I told about type symbols they are divided into vowels and consonants. Vowels are 20 in numbers and consonants are 24 in numbers. Have a look at the IPS symbols. Of course, I'm going to write the consonant symbols. Let us have a look. These are 24 in numbers. Ha, ba, ta, da, ka, ga, hmm, hmm, ka, ha. V. <laughs> the. Z. 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 R. Ch. J. Y. V. Let us count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. These 24 are consonants. Let me talk about the classification of consonants. Consonants are classified based on three dimensions. Let us know what are those dimensions. They are voicing, place of articulation, and manner of articulation. Based on voicing, they are classified into two classes, voiced consonants and voiceless consonants. Let us know what is the meaning of voiced consonant and what is the meaning of voiceless consonant. We have vocal cords here. If vocal cords vibrate while producing a sound, a consonant sound, that consonant sound is called voiced consonant. If vocal cords do not vibrate while producing a consonant sound, that one is called voiceless consonant sound. For example, we have to talk a sound pa. Put your ears, put, sorry, put your palms on your ears and try to produce the sound pa, pa. Do you feel any vibration? No. Because 
vocal cords do not vibrate here. But when you produce the sound b, b, here is vibration. Why? Because here vocal cords vibrate. So here voice, voiceless sound, whereas voice, voice sound. According to the place of articulation, consonants are of nine types. They are bilabial, dental, labiodental, alveolar, post-alveolar, palato-alveolar, palatal, velar, glottal. And according to the manner of articulation, they are classified into six classes. What are they? They are plosives, nasals, laterals, fricatives, offricates, and subibowls. Let us discuss bilabial plosives. Bilabial and plosives. Right, two words. First of all, I would like to talk to you about bilabial. Bilabial is the combination of two words. One is bi, another is labial. Bi means two, labial means lips. That means when you produce a bilabial sound, we have to carry our two lips together. Listen, these two lips are carried together. Then the bilabial sound is produced. Uh, we can produce the sound like p, b, m. These are bilabial sounds. That means when we produce these sounds, we carry our lips together, right? Let us think about plosives. The term plosive is derived from explosive. That means an outburst of air. The word refers to the burst of air while pronouncing certain consonants. Let us have an example. Try to pronounce the word pa. Put your palm on your mouth and try to speak the sound pa. Here you felt or mini explosion of air. This is known as explosive or this is known as the plosive sound. There are six plosive sounds. There are p, b, t, d, k, and g. In this video, we are going to discuss these two. These two are called bilabial plosives. Now we are going to discuss two plosives. They are po and bo. Let us produce the sound po. While producing the sound po, please put your palms on your ears and try to say the sound pa. Pa. Did you feel any vibration? No. Because here vocal cords do not vibrate. If vocal cords do not vibrate, this is called voiceless but when you are producing the sound pa two lips are carried together so this is called voiceless bilabial plosive let us practice these sounds but while you are practicing the sounds while you are producing these sounds or words put your palms on your ear like paper patience pole space patrol I'm sure you did not feel any vibration here because vocal cords do not vibrate. Let us think about bo. So when you produce the sound bo, yes, bo, 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 yes, we feel vibration because vocal cords vibrate here. So this is called voice bilabial plosive. Let us produce some sounds, produce some words. When you produce these words, put your palms on your ear. Batter, boat, busy, bag, but Yes, we feel vibration. Let us discuss some important rules of paw. Rule number one, final po is not released. That means if a word ends in the sound p, the sound should not be released. For example, D R O P C O P S I S O P P U M P. These words end in the sound P. So, when you want to pronounce these words, you have to hold, you should not release the sound P. I have to talk here. J, K, S, H, P. Let us practice some sentences. Help him. No, that's wrong. 
happy, keep talking, have fun. There is the cupcake. Rule number two: Boys are spirited if it is followed by a stressed bowl. What is the meaning of a spirited? A spirited means puffed. P is pronounced as p. Listen, this one is accented or stressed. So this is pronounced as. Not pardon. Generally, uh, what some people pronounce it as pardon because it is accented or stressed. The sound is pardon. Exactly, this one is. Generally, we pronounce it as payment, but Western people pronounce it as payment because it is aspirated, followed by a stressed vowel. Rule number three: the aspiration is less strong when po is followed by a short vowel. If po is followed by a short vowel like i, you cannot talk picked. You have to pronounce it as picked. Even there are maybe stress, but here is the short vowel. You cannot talk it as picked. That's wrong. You have to talk it as picked. Rule number four: Boy is not aspirated if it occurs after so. Listen here: Boy comes after so. You cannot talk your spider. That's wrong. Have to talk it spider. Right. You cannot talk it spider. You have to talk it spider. Discuss a rule of bo. Bo is never aspirated. That means you can't pronounce bo to bo. For example, b is back. You cannot talk back. That's wrong. Border. You cannot talk border. That's wrong. Better. You cannot talk better because bo is never aspirated.